In this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview of L'Hopital's rule and when and why we might need to use it. Okay, so L'Hopital's rule helps us solve limits questions. So this is in topic five calculus and it helps us find these limits where the answers might not be as simple as they, as they might have been if it was just a simple limit. So we might need to use a rule, but I'll get to that in a little bit. Okay, I have three examples. Let's just try and solve them without even knowing what L'Hopital's rule uh, is. Okay, well, the limit as x approaches zero of sine of x over x. Let's just try our luck. Let's substitute in zero for x and we will get sine of zero over zero and sine of zero is in fact zero. So we get zero over zero. Hmm. Okay, I'll come back to that. That's a little bit of a strange answer. Let's try example two. We have the limit as x approaches infinity of the natural log of x over x. Okay, let's try our luck again. Let's substitute in infinity in for x. Well, the natural log of infinity is just infinity. We will have infinity on the bottom. Hmm, infinity over infinity. That's another strange answer. Okay, let's try the third one. Maybe this will be easier. The limit as x approaches infinity of uh, x multiplied by e to the negative x. Well, this will give us infinity multiplied by e to the power of negative infinity. And e to the power of negative infinity is an incredibly small number. It's essentially a zero because of our negative power here. So we are going to get infinity times zero. Hmm, okay, we didn't have much luck there with our three examples, and this is why L'Hopital's rule is very helpful and very important. Okay, so the three answers that we got there, if we can have a look up here, these are the three indeterminate forms that we need to deal with. Now, what that means is that uh, we don't actually have an answer for our limits here, so what we can do is use L'Hopital's rule to help us solve these limits. Now, basically all L'Hopital's rule uh, is, is that if we can't find the limit, or if the limit is in one of these three indeterminate forms here, zero over zero, infinity over infinity, now this could be plus or minus infinity over plus or minus infinity, or infinity times zero, what we can do is take the derivative of the numerator and the denominator. And we can do this multiple times if we need to, but then we can try and uh, solve these limits. So let's go through the first example. If we can't solve this limit straight away, uh, just by direct substitution, let's find the derivative of the numerator and the derivative of the denominator. And the derivative with respect to x of sine of x will be equal to the cosine of x and the derivative of x is just equal to one. Now, once we have found the derivative of the numerator and the denominator, let's try our luck again. Can we substitute in x to be equal to zero and get an answer that's not in one of these forms? And we do, we get the cosine of zero is one and we have a one on the bottom. And one over one, uh, that, is, that is a number that we can actually confirm as our limit. The answer is equal to one. So we have shown that the limit as x approaches zero of sine of x over x is in fact one, and we used L'Hopital's rule to help us do it. Okay, so L'Hopital's rule means we can just take the derivative on the, of the numerator and the denominator and then try our limit again. Okay, let's try the second one. Well, using L'Hopital's rule, let's take the derivative of the numerator and the denom denominator. Now the derivative of the natural log of x is one on x, and the derivative of x is just one, so now we have the limit as x approaches infinity of one over uh, x over one. Let's substitute in infinity. We'll get one over infinity over one. Now one over infinity is in fact zero and zero over one, that is an answer. This, it's not one of our three indeterminate forms because zero over one is in fact just zero. So this is our answer. And once again, we found it. Uh, this is the answer for our limit. We found it using L'Hopital's rule, where we take the derivative of the of both our numerator and our denominator. Okay, let's try our third example. Let's now take the uh, the derivative once again. But before we do that, we can hopefully recognize that we can express this as a fraction because that's what we want to do here: have a function over a function, and we can do that by making this e to the negative x e to the x on the denominator. Okay, using our indices laws, indices rules and laws. Okay, so let's take the derivative of the numerator and the denominator. This is L'Hopital's rule. And the derivative of x becomes one. The derivative of e to the x with respect to x is just e to the x. And now let's try and substitute in infinity and we will get one over e to the power of infinity. And this is in fact infinity. 
1 over infinity can be determined. Uh, it's not one of our three indeterminate forms. 1 over infinity is just equal to 0. Okay, so they are, they are the three examples uh, that we've gone through here. We've actually found the limits of each of them. And just to conclude here, what L'Hopital's rule is actually telling us, it's that if we have the limit as x approaches some value here, I'm just going to say a, of a function over a function, uh, if we can't find this straight away just by doing a direct substitution, we know uh, that as, assuming that both of these functions are uh, differentiable, we can actually find the derivative. We can just uh, we can say that the limit here is equal to the limit as x approaches that same value of the derivative over the derivative. Now, in some challenging questions, uh, even if you do use L'Hopital's rule once and find the first derivative. Uh, and the first derivative, we still might get an indeterminate form. So that's where you might need to uh, do L'Hopital's rule twice or three times. You can do it multiple times here until you can substitute in your value for A that does actually give you an answer that's not one of these three. Okay, so in conclusion, this is L'Hopital's rule. Uh, very, very interesting story about uh, L'Hopital's rule, it was actually discovered by a different mathematician, uh, Johann Bernoulli, uh, but L'Hopital was a very, very rich man and he bought the rights to this rule and now it's named after him. So, interesting story there. Okay, good luck.